A report by the Korea Economic Research Institute suggests that South Korea's recent trade deficit could be aggravated further due to the increasing gap between the prices of import and export goods. While the country's key uh, imports are doing okay, oil is becoming much more um, expensive and the price of its key uh, export item, which is semiconductors, has been on a bit of a downslide. Kim sung in with the details. Fresh analysis has been released, which reveals a slowing growth momentum of South Korea's exports over the past two months. The Korea Economic Research Institute said on Thursday that the country's 4.9 billion U.S. dollar trade deficit last month was largely due to an increasing gap between the prices of import and export goods. While South Korea's import prices in January were up 19.6 percent from a year ago, prices of export goods were up only 12.4 percent. The institute says although the rise in import prices was not significant, the increase in export prices was not enough to move the balance into the green. The gap, which came to around 7 percentage points, was far higher when compared to over 3 percentage points seen in January last year. What further stressed the deficit was the growth in the total volume of imports and exports. Compared to over 15 percent growth in import volume in January from last year, growth in exports was more modest at around 8 percent. The most decisive factor was changes to the prices of key import and export items. The price of oil, South Korea's biggest import item, has climbed to a seven-year high, getting close to $100 a barrel, whereas the country's main export semiconductors are seeing a constant drop in prices since last October. With growing inflation in import and export prices, the Korea Economic Research Institute warns that the country's deficit could expand further throughout the year, prompting the need to implement measures to improve export conditions. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.